Yeah, uh, I think that's huge. Um, I think that goes without saying, like, that's a standard that we need to have, stick up for each other. Um, you know, the bond that we make in the locker room, it's got to show on the ice, too. Um, so, yeah, they take a run at a young guy like that. Uh, obviously, a very good player. Young player, first couple exhibition games, you know, we're going to stick up for him. So, um, yeah, that's how it went down. What do you think of his game? Uh, I think it's great. I think he's very smart. Um, you know, I've seen him, you know, last couple of games, X on the power play. He does a really good job uh, at, you know, faking passes and making no look passes. Um, you know, he's just a very smart player. You can tell. Uh, obviously, he's young. Um, but that's what's even more special is how much, you know, improving he's capable of. Um, so he's already on, on on a very high level. Um, so it's really good to see. Is that going to have to be that, that sort of thing back by committee as far as just sticking up for each other? Like you don't have a Curtis Gabriel this year. Is that going to have to be sort of thing that everybody kind of takes on? Yeah, that's, you know, um, that's something that we can all do as a team. You know, we got to be a wolf pack out there. Uh, we got to stand up for each other. and. You know, again, that's what the game of hockey is about, um, is playing for each other out there. And it starts with, with things like that. You know, a guy takes a big hit, you know, you got to get in there and stand up for him. And, you know, it just shows our, our dominance as a culture. We do that kind of stuff. So I think it's huge and it's very important for us to go a long way for sure. Do you think Tony's got maybe 30 or 40 pounds on you? Was there any second thoughts there? Or just, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's a big boy for sure. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, it was, you know, he got in there with Hertz, he got in there with X. You know, yeah, at that point, it doesn't matter, right? Um, just got to stick up for each other. and uh, So it's all about, I mean, it is what it is. You get in there. You were hired an A the other night. Is this, uh, you know, now you're in your third year here, do you feel like you're becoming more of a leader as every year that goes by? You know, I, yeah, I have the, uh, you know, first of all, I'm very honored. That was, um, you know, I'm very thankful for that opportunity, um, you know, uh, to be recognized as an A. I know it's, it's, it's an exhibition game, but, you know, I'm, Super thankful, and, and it's it's an honor no matter what. Anytime you put on that shark jersey, and for it to have an A on that uh, is, is really special. So I um, really appreciate that. But um, there's so many great leaders. I've had the privilege to to play alongside a lot of great leaders and, and learn from a lot of people. Um, you know, obviously I had Jumbo, uh, you know, Patty Marlowe, Burnsy, Carl, Koo, Churro. Like I can, the list goes on and on. You know, our, our our team is full of great leaders, and I think that that's that can help me um, in terms of learning. But the end of the day I think we're all you know all have uh, unique qualities that, that we bring to the room and that's important for us to all feed off each other and I think it's, uh, it's it helps for sure. Has Eklund become sort of everybody's little brother on the team? <laughs> yeah I mean you know he <laughs> puts on that shark jersey whoever is alongside us on the bench you look to our left and right so teammates you know we're gonna play for him so of course he is um, it was the moment he got drafted uh, for sure so um, he's part of the organization especially when we get out there on the ice we play for each other hard um, no matter who or who the uh, the guy next to us is, so um, yeah, he's he's special. He's a great kid. Um, works his, his bag off, so uh, it's it's nice to to play with him these couple of games. Can you talk about how uh, tricky he can be on the power play? Obviously, uh, well, more I guess when you practice against him, like you know, why is he so deceptive? Um, it's just how challenging it, it is that? that yeah, like? he's deceptive. Like he he makes plays. Um, you know, he knows he sees guys that, uh, throughout the uh, uh, throughout the ice without actually, you know, having to turn his head and, and see him, you know, it's like he has eyes at the back of his head kind of thing, you know what I mean? So, no, he's uh, he's he's gifted like that. He can be deceptive and, and make you think he's going to make a play that way and then, you know, pass it the other way. And that's, uh, that's a huge thing, especially uh, the NHL. You know, it's a lot of good defensemen with big sticks that, you know, cover a lot of lanes. Uh, so to be deceptive is, is a huge advantage, and he definitely has that. you got guys like Ataka and Berkeley to try to make this team. What did you think of their game tonight? I think I thought they played very well. Um, you know, Hataka uh, I thought was was very solid. Um, he made some good poise plays, um, and Merck's you know Merck's great makes great plays. You know, he, he's very smart. He sees the ice. Um, you know, great shot in that first goal, of course, with a, with a good tip. Um, but they both bring good qualities to the game. They're both very smart. They see the ice well, and you know, it's important to being the last guy back there as a D man. Um, and I uh, know it's good to see a lot of skill.